we all know that the tech giants of the world, Meta, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google, also known as the MANG, dominated the tech industry and also the stock market for the past decade or so. But with change in times, is it still worth interviewing at MANG? Let's find out. Welcome to VJ's Insights, the place where you'll get tips and encouragement to help you succeed in your career and achieve your goals. Mang companies have been on the forefront of innovation and have changed the tech industry as we know it. But with the recent layoffs, rising interest rates, periodic scrutiny from the regulators, and with the changing landscape, some think that the future is uncertain. Some say that even with the advancements in LLM and AI, the growth prospects are tremendous, but even those have risks around ethics and regulation. Despite the challenges they face, there are pretty awesome benefits of working at Mang. And I'm not even going to talk about the perks, maybe a little at the end. The first one is brand name recognition. It feels great to be associated with a reputed company. People respect you for clearing the rigorous interview process. Well, at least a lot of them do. Keeping your ego aside for a moment, having these names can be very valuable while pursuing future career opportunities. I have a first-hand experience of this. Because I worked at Bloomberg and Amazon, it was quite easy for me to connect with recruiters. The second one is about engineering practices. Mang companies are well known to follow best practices in most of the software development lifecycle, from design docs, coding, testing, to deployment, monitoring, A-B testing, accessibility, you name it. Well, not every single team follows every single best practice, but you will rarely see sloppiness or not following something without any valid justification. I'm also not saying that other companies don't follow these practices, but you'll almost certainly see this at Mang. The third one is scale. This will vary from team to team, but there are very high chances that you'll be exposed to enormous scale and the challenges that come with it. Working on large scale distributed systems will make you learn things that you generally don't study in colleges or in boot camps. It will also make your resume look a lot stronger. The fourth one is well-defined career path. These companies have well-defined role guidelines which clearly state what is expected from which role at what level. This makes it easier to understand what is needed to climb the ladder or to switch the ladder. Requiring feedback providers and reviewers in the promo process makes it very difficult for undeserving candidates to get promoted just by sucking up. But it also has a negative impact of added bureaucracy on deserving candidates. So I'll let you decide what you prefer. The fifth benefit is easier internal movement. Usually these companies will support you changing teams every few years. This is very useful in learning new things, getting different experience, without needing to switch companies. It is also very helpful in building internal network. The sixth one is tremendous learning opportunities. These companies have many teams working on many buzzwords like big data, cloud, AI, ML, or even different domains like social media, live streaming, video, retail, or even finance. Even if you're not working on all of these, having experts in these areas makes it easier to learn a plethora of things via technical talks or internal learning platforms. And lastly, the perks. Most of you already know about the high compensation, benefits like insurance, generous company match in retirement planning, immigration support, free food and amenities. So I don't need to get into details of those. But does it mean that everything is great and there are no downsides? Of course, there are a few things that one needs to be mindful of. First, high pressure. Mine companies are known to have fast-paced, high-pressure environment that may not be suitable for everyone. Second is highly competitive workplace. If everyone around you is a genius, it's difficult to stand out and the imposter syndrome is even stronger. The third is the potential for burnout. The high pressure and competition may lead to burnout for some employees and can negatively impact their mental health and well-being. The fourth one is bureaucracy. At times, changing just a few lines of code and pushing it to production can take days. There are steps and processes for valid reason, but sometimes it does feel like too much red tape. And this applies to promotions as well, as we discussed earlier. The need to have a strong case with solid data points and feedback providers 
can make it much longer for deserving candidates to get promoted. Last but not least, the mental health challenges in even getting into mind. The effort needed will vary from person to person, but for most of us, it is quite significant. It can take months of dedicated preparation, which may seem daunting. And even with that, there is no guarantee that you'll make it. Seeing some of your friends getting offer and you not making the cut, despite giving so much of your time and energy could be devastating. I have a first-hand experience of that. Check it out in my How I Got Into Google video. There are many other companies that offer similar perks and opportunities. High-frequency trading firms or hedge funds can offer even higher compensation. Up-and-coming startups could offer exciting projects and work environments and they might be a better fit for those who want to avoid the bureaucracy and other challenges that come with larger companies. So should you still consider interviewing at Mang? I think so. If for nothing else, at least for the brand name. Having these names on your resume will help you open a lot of doors in the future. And the things that you learn here will be helpful in most other places. However, one shouldn't look at Mang as the only way to succeed or feel dejected if they cannot get in. Getting into Mang should not be a way of seeking validation and it certainly shouldn't compromise your mental health. There are excellent engineers everywhere and there are many complex and important problems to solve at other places. After all, the company does not make you successful. Your hard work and persistence does. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with someone who you think could benefit from it. I'm interested in hearing your perspective as well. So please leave a comment below with your thoughts on this topic and I'll see you in the next video.